Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy of Extras video. We got some news for you. Maintenance says that it's normal time, but I would not expect anything else because it's probably going to be extended. This is, this is going to be very strange to see this because... Oh, it says right here. So there is going to be something else changed for some reason. We're going to have to go into that a little bit. Uh, so make sure you guys do this fairly quickly, the, the monthly uh, fortune hunt. Because apparently it's going away for the month of April. We've got a bad hair day. I'm sure we all do have one of those every now and then. And we're fighting a bad hair. He's a big bad hair, that's for sure. And there's actually some, you know, 300 lapis here. That's not too bad, a UOC. But it's just another one of those, you know, spin all over Oh, wow. So again, here's the meme. If you invested so much into that, uh, this banner here with Yoshikiri and Elena, you you got a, quite quite a investment of the future because they're almost always bonus units. So if you guys have any of those, you are more than oh, card shards. So that's nice. You can pick up to lock, so you could get Terra shards. I think that's what everybody's looking for. I think everybody's looking at those Terra shards, right? I ain't, I ain't the only one, right? So, I'm sure everybody's looking at those Terra shards. I don't know what else you'd want to pick, because, yeah, Terra's there. So, you should probably look at Terra if you have her. If you don't, of course, you'll look at all the other ones, but Terra. So, we've got Melia here, and also, I know, before you guys scream in the comment section, they already said that there's I mean, not going to be any Division Awakenings. So, don't scream in the comment section. Well, you can scream if you want to, but well, I wouldn't. And are they really, are they really putting a four star TMR in there? That set that, that last one, that's one on the end is a four star TMR guys. Don't get that. <laughs> oh my God. That's just silly. That's just silly. Um, magical eggs. I mean, this sounds promising. I can't really, I don't really want to go into much because you guys will have to return to my review. So make sure you guys turn to my review for all these characters. Uh, of course, I'll be only reviewing the ones that get upgraded, so I don't think that Sylvie's getting anything. But we'll find out. And also, 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 we have to find out how close I was, if you watched the Esther video, we'll have to see how close I am to getting the, my predictions correct. I'm not going to be, like, upset if I'm not right, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun to see, at least. And... Yes, Silly's not getting an upgrade, so there's no reason to review her whatsoever. Uh, so, yeah, there's no reason to review. So there'll only be two in the review unless there's a surprise entry of some kind. I doubt that. It's just going to be these two in the review, so maybe I can review the rest of Mars too, unless it, unless it goes too long. So they're doing this bonus again, and can we get these tickets at least? Okay, so players will also receive bonus present tickets, but I doubt this is the one that I doubt this is the one that get that you can use on the second tab that they just put in the game recently. Uh, maybe that maybe it is. Oh, this is actually a little bit long. Okay, this is not the meme anymore, guys. Well, it's still I'm sure it's the third sharp meme, right? Yeah, but they have a little bit longer of bonus this time around. There's a Omni Prism in here, which is interesting, and there's tickets and a lot of other good things in here. So. Yeah, the 30 shard beam is still there, but they're offering a little bit more than usual, which is interesting. Uh, I guess people really like Easter. And this is when we're replacing the monthly fortune hunt. New adventure reward system. Collect as many adventure crests as possible. It seems like it's very similar to... Oh, they're, they're trying to monetize it. They're trying to monetize this. Are you kidding me? Releases of weekly content such as story events, rage events, blah, blah, blah. You'll be able to earn them for free, but they're putting them in chests. They're putting them in a chest. 
You gotta be kidding me. That's a joke. So don't buy them if you can get them for free. I wouldn't do that. That's just silly. You better, and, and you have to have, you have to, apparently you have to have a whole bunch of these in order to get these rewards. I don't know if this is such a good idea. This is because you can, I'm assuming so, it's going to make some of you guys mad. Because you probably won't be able to get all of the rewards here unless you buy them. And what's the point of that? Like, what's the point of doing that at that point? Like, the rewards aren't that amazing. They're pretty good. I mean, they're not too terrible, but they're not like, it's not worth going out of my way for. Like, you can get STM removal 100% eventually. You get VIP coins all the time. And the Lapis, I mean, if you're buying them, you're not worried about Lapis anyways. And these 1 out of 10 Neovision tickets are just really unreliable. So, it's not worth buying, guys. I really, I, I really don't think it is. Maybe I'm not seeing something here, but... Like, 10 plus 1, 5 star guaranteed, who cares at that point? Anymore, because then I can't get, you can't get Neovisions from them. You can get, uh, five, like, Neovision Awakens, but... Now we're spending money on it. So hopefully you can just get them all... By not spending money, but it looks like it's it seems to me like you have to spend some money in order to get this to the, to the maximum, which I don't think is worth it whatsoever. So don't buy, guys, don't not buy. My opinion, my opinion, of course, if you want to buy anyways, that's up to you. I wouldn't. And if you want to, guys, have if you want guys want to know why I said for you guys to get two Gilgameshes at EX1 at least, this is the why this is the trial for the reason why I would say that because I why. Well, I can't speak apparently. So this is the reason why. Because you need you definitely need two Gilgamesh or someone two people that can do breaks, like do like not breaks like you know, like the weapon gauge the weapon gauge abilities. So that you can do it on the shell and then you can one shot the shell because the the shell's gonna get one shotted, I'm sure. Uh so two Gilgamesh can one shot it and then you fight you bring two finishers in order to get the Whatever the eel part, or whatever, what the sn snake, or I can't think of whatever that is. T creature. <laughs> so there you go with that. And Esther is getting a revamp. Of course, I won't really be going too much into this because this is just words. There's no in actual stats here. It's just words. It's just words, and I'm not really bothered by any of that because it's not telling me. Their modifier increases. They're not telling me any kind of uh, ch chaining frame changes. They're not telling me, you know, the numbers. So I don't really, I don't. I know you guys want me to go into all this, but like, it's just not. There's no nothing here. It's just a bunch of flavor right now, and it tastes kind of bland to me. So I'm gonna just go ahead and skip on. And the vision card, level four and seven is a laugh. Is a joke. That's a joke. Ten percent HP, and that's it. That's a joke. I don't think I really feel like Gumi is kind of hit and missing with these uh vision or like these new new vision units. I feel like sometimes they can make good units and then sometimes they cannot. So I don't I really don't know what's going on with this vision card here. The level 10 better be like spanking, like super spanking, like you can hear it across the room kind of spanking because that seems really awful. Is this free? This can't be free. This is part of her Hold on. Can't be, yeah, it's her vision card. This is not a free. It, lo, it feels like a free one. It feels free because this is such weak bonuses, like ten percent. What? Uh, whatever. Anyways, let's move on. I would highly recommend not supporting this. Apparently, I, I told you guys people are supporting this now that it's going to come back every single time. So, I'm only one small dude on the on the internet on YouTube. So all I can do is say, please don't support this. I would re I recommend not. Um, just don't. Don't. Please don't. And here we go back to the actual login bonus, the meme. And they removed the, sh the shards this time. So no no extra shards for the login bonus. Nope. And the exchange is going to be the typical one. And they'll put in some bait. I guess, I guess they're, they're really trying their best for some bait. They're putting in old TMRs and STMRs in. Having this mind protector is an actual joke. Don't actually get that, please. Uh, and Luna Freya's necklace is a TMR. You don't need to get that. And Eris Choker is good, but no. And Eris's hairpin is also good, but no. 
I would just worry about if you want to go for fragments. And I mean, Esther and Sylvia are USC able, so why would you pick them? Unless it's like one coin for for one of them, but even still. Eh. And finally, we got a small situation with the end date for Renera Fragments, and the Lapis Shot was incorrect. And hopefully, you guys found that out. Yeah, hopefully, you guys found that out very quickly so you get that situation taken care of. Anyways. We've already been taking way too long. Or 10 minutes of the video, that's way too long. I, I usually like having these very short. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And if you don't have anything else to say about this news, then in the comment section down below, I want to know what you guys think. Why Season 3 was a letdown to you in particular, or what you think that Season 3 was not good enough or underperforming or anything like that. Why did you not like season three? Or maybe if you did like season three, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that most people said that they don't like it. So I want to know what you guys think down below. Why do you not like season three in the comment section down below? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.